Hi, I'm Aaron Warman. I'm Ro Mendez. And I'm Kelsey Chatoon. We're all from the Inglot Times Square store, and we're here at Chelsea Market at the Pro Studio. Today, we are going to show you a classic Halloween House of the Dove look with Inglot products that you can replicate at home. I'm using the Duraline to mix the white pigment and turn it more into like a liquid so I can paint it on the face and make an even tone. So I'm gonna start applying the base with my 21T foundation brush. You wanna make sure you blend it all the way up into that hairline. Into the eyebrow. If you want to really get it in the skin, brush against the eyebrows. And just under her, right under her jawline. We're not going any further than her jawline, and then we'll just drag it out a little bit down her neck. I'm just dusting over the face with white pigment, which is number 35. Okay, I'm using concealer number 37 to lighten the eyebrows. I'm just taking a mascara wand with the concealer already on it. I'm just gonna brush it through her eyebrows in all directions. To even out the porcelain look on the face, we can use the 373 matte eyeshadow. Just take it, pat your brush in it, shake off the excess, and then just pat it in. You can also use this to blend in the neck to white to make it an easier transition so it's not so stark. Now that her face is even and it's all a perfect white, I'm gonna go in with AMC blush number 69 and brush 3P to define her face and her cheeks. I will be using AMC blush 52 and brush 15BJF to go ahead and lighten it up, blend it in so it goes up into her hairline and soften her face. I'm going to start about here. I'm just going to blend it up. Now I'm going to start light and I'm going to build on what I want. So what she's doing is she's placing it on. She's going to place it firmly against the skin because remember we, we drew on it with the pencil. So we want the pencil to show up on the skin as it did right now. Basically, it showed up just a little bit. It's very light so that if there is a mistake, you can cover it up and fix it. So now she's going to go in and she's gonna fill it in and define it. This makes it a lot easier so she doesn't have to freehand it and you don't have to worry about if you're gonna make it symmetrical on both sides. So she's using the 31T brush, which is an angle brush, and the liner 77 gel liner. Now blending the Duraline in with the gel liner number 77 will give you a little bit more time to work with it before it sets. So while Rose finishing up with the eyebrows, I'm going to go in and start with the lip. So I'm going in with the same base color that I used, the pigment with, mixed with the Duraline, and I'm going to go over the lip and make it all white. For the lips, I'm using lipstick number 409 and brush 22T. The reason I'm using this brush is to have a more accurate look and I have more control over the lipstick. So to finish the eye, I'm just gonna use the angle brush and my gel liner number 76. I'm taking the lash and placing it upside down so the lashes curl comes out. So now while she's adhering the lashes to both sides and measuring them up, I'm going to go ahead and, and use the AMC blush that we used, number 69, for the lid of the eye. I'm going to blend it up to probably about where her real eyebrow is. <laughs> 